Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and I haven't shot a video like this in quite a while. Obviously, we're back on my bed. Not the best setup, not the best lighting, yada, yada, yada. You're sick of hearing about that, but it is what it is. This is a What's in My Caboodle nail polish edition, or I should say nail care edition. I might have shot this actual caboodle a while back. I honestly don't recall, but it has been at least a year, I'm sure. So even if I did, I'm sure some of the items, although probably very few, have changed. But let me just show you. This is a nail polish caboodle that I've had since the 90s, I'm sure. I can't even remember when I bought it. So I'm sure I've had it since like high school, maybe even late 80s. But um, let's just open this bad boy up. This was one specifically made, I think, for nail polish stuff, just based on how the compartments are set up and everything. But here's what I've got. So in this compartment here, with this removable little piece, we have my cotton balls, an essential for nail polish remover, obviously. On this side, it's really nice. The way this slanted setup is, you can just place a bottle of polish and it's nicely angled so you can get the product out and um, put your nails, you know, right up here, put your hands right up here and, and polish. I do have a little funky color in the lettering there. I do try to keep it as clean as I can with nail polish remover, but sometimes gunk gets in there and you can't get it out. But anyway, um, here I have three little nail files and some uh, orange sticks. These came with, uh, I believe, like sticky press-on type nail things. Not actual press-on nails, but like the decals. And then these are just orange sticks cuticle sticks, whatever. They have this like slanty edge and this pointy edge. A couple of those in there. I have my cotton swabs in two different sizes. Again, good for polish remover, just for touch-ups and things. And here I have, I literally just put some clear coat on my nails and I'll explain that in a minute, which is why I'm recording this. But in here we have these cute little nail clippers, although the baby ones are not particularly useful. I need to get a really good set of fingernail clippers, but I got these at the Dollar Tree ages ago. One's kind of turning color, but they're rose gold and they look like little mermaid tails and they're really sweet. And then this is the toenail clipper. I really, really desperately need a good fingernail clipper. Um, then I have here, this is a Sally Hansen Color Therapy. This is... Um, I believe it's like a cuticle oil. Does it say nail and cuticle oil? Yes. Then I have this product here, which is what I'm currently using right now. It's Barrial Nail Rebuilding Protein because I am an idiot and I keep chopping my nails. This is about the length I like my nails, these three. Okay. But then when I cut my pinky, I always cut it too short and then it breaks and breaks and breaks. And I know this is like up close and personal, but it is owie and it's really not growing back and I keep getting like splits in the middle of it and I'm really scared that it's going to get even worse than it is now and I apologize for the cuticles my cuticles always look like crap but I put a coat of that on in the hopes that it will help my baby poor little broken nail grow back this is another product that I absolutely love this bottle is almost empty but I do have another bottle this instant cuticle remover believe it or not it works pretty well, even though my cuticles are still kind of funky. Um, I don't use it regularly. I haven't been doing my nails that much lately, but this is a really, really good product. It's not sponsored. I paid for it, but I love it. Then this is my little cuticle clipper, um, you know, for hang nails or whatever. Although I don't use it that often because it's like kind of scary to me. But um, anyway, so this has a buffing part and then like an emery board part and on the back is just like a really is that even an emery board or is that buffing too I guess that's a buffing part too and that's like a really fine grit emery board almost and then that's like a regular emery board I don't know I don't use these that much but they came in the pack with the nail stickers so I kept them then in here we have a bunch of crap I don't honestly go in this part all that often I won't stay open. Let's see what we can do here. You know what? I'm just going to pour the contents out. Oh, I can't do that because it's attached. But let me just grab things so you can see what all I have in here. Mm -mm -mm. Exciting, I know. Eh. 
Full disclosure, you want to see everything, right? Okay. Oh, a little nail sticker came off. Put it back in there. Okay, now it's empty. But I have this cuticle pusher. I have this little baby egg emery board. I have no idea where I got this. And that's just the back, so it's not even meant for anything. Taste Beauty. There you go. It evidently came from Taste Beauty. I have this nail art pen in white. Good for French manicures. I have never used this because I have no control. Like, when it comes to doing nail art at all, I really wanted to get good at it. I, I bought, like, the kits with the... Um, with the stampers and the, you know, the, the, um, God, I can't think of it, but the metal plates to do stamping. I suck at it. This is a little bit of holographic powder that I bought from someone online years ago to make my own hollow top coats and it doesn't work well for me anyway. In my experience, just adding it to clear, it never mixes right. I even bought the little BBs, the little metal things that you put into shake a shake a shake and make it mix, and it never worked for me. It just separated all the time. So, whatevs. I have this cute little tape here, red, white, and blue that I didn't even realize I had. I think I got this for uh, review purposes like years ago when I was doing nail polish vlogging and not vlogging, um, blogging, but, um, I never got around to reviewing that. I guess that also came from this company. So unperfect. I didn't even realize I had these decals in here. They're actually really cute. You get the stars and then, oh, they're mixed together. And then there's like star bursts and all kinds of cool stuff. And then I also have these that are really pretty. Yeah. Completely forgot I had these. And I have some really cute stickers. These were from the Born Pretty store that I used to order from ages ago. These cute little Hello Kitty ones with bows and stuff. I have, oops, I have some more Hello Kitty ones. I believe these came in a friend mail one time and I just never remembered I had them to use. But there's these with the flowers. There's these with the hearts. These with the stars and little strawberries, and then these with the rainbows and little umbrellas and the bunnies. I don't remember Hello Kitty's bunny friend's name. If you know it, just post in the drop box, or in the comments rather, and then these pretty ones with the bows and rainbows and hearts and all that good shit. So these stickers, I completely forgot I had any of these. I also have these. I believe these came in a um, set of stuff I got from taste beauty years ago and oh no maybe not I don't know I see chupa chups on there so yeah maybe that was from taste didn't remember having these it's how long ago I opened this compartment on here and actually I'm going to put these on the bottom if I can so that the door will close right then I have this little block it's like spongy kind of, and it's emery board surface on most of the sides, except for like these parts, these three parts. Don't think I've ever used that. I have two sets of toe separators. Don't really need two sets. And you know what? No, I really don't need two sets. I'm going to keep the blue ones and we're tossing the white ones because they're getting a little yellowed and I have too much shit. Then we have these little stickers that I think I did use some of. These are really pretty too. I'm 99% sure these came in a friend mail years ago. And I have these really cute little doodads here that I think are meant to be cut really thin with a, like an X-Acto knife. And you can like put them on your, like rest them in your top coat or whatever your polish color is. And then put, you know, clear coat over the top and they're supposed to, you know, just be like nail accoutrements but I've never used these so I don't even remember and I have this little nail love pen that I got from it cosmetics oh my god I reviewed this when we still lived in Florida actually is only good for 12 months I've had this for probably like 10 years so that's getting tossed I have this Sally Hansen Quick Care Conditioning Manicure Corrector. I think this is, is it nail polish? Yeah, right over misapplied nail color, pressing lightly, wipe tip after every use. So this is, yeah, basically this is 
a um, little pen too, which I did remove. I mean, I did wipe the tip after every use, but that's to do touch-ups on your nail polish, your manicures. I have another one of those that is from the Dollar Tree, evidently, because it's um, sassy and chic. And I guess it has replacement tips in there. And then there's that one. Didn't remember having this either. Like I said, I don't open this compartment very often. I really haven't been doing much nail stuff at all, but whatevs. This is a French manicure pen. So it's another thing like that other painty pan I showed you, except I can't get the lid off with my left hand, but it has white polish in it or whatever to do the tips. This is from, let's see, Lauren B. Beauty. I don't remember. Oh, there you go. Nail and cuticle balm. All right, cool. This is probably equally as old, if not older, than the It Cosmetics thing I just tossed. But since it doesn't have a date on it, nope, I'm keeping that bad boy. And I have this file. These used to be my absolute favorite. These ruby stone files I, that I bought from Sally Beauty Supply. They're not made as well now, I don't think. Now they have clear cases, or at least they did as of the last time I purchased them. So this is like a treasured one because it's older, and I just don't feel like they work as well now. It might just be a me thing. This is a really soft buffer, like to, you know, just get your natural nails to shine. And this is as well, and it's spongy. It's going to take a lot longer than I thought to shoot this video because I haven't even gotten to the main contents yet, but I'll go faster. All right, these are pretty much all nail treatment items that I either purchased or got for review ages ago. All right, we've got this one here. This was from a contest I won, French Tip Dip. I won this three-minute top coat. I think I got to pick out a polish or two. Maybe I want a couple of these clear ones, too. I can't remember, but it was ages ago. This Sinful Colors White is just in here because I didn't have any place else for it. I think it's a duplicate. It's just, um, yeah, snow me white. I have two of these Sally Hansen Moisture Rehab Strengtheners. I could try this, actually, for my pinky nail, too. Two of those. These are my matte top coats. Oh, some of these probably should be tossed. I think this is a matte top coat. Oh no, this is strip it off. This is, what is it? A base coat. I think this is, the idea of this is that you put it underneath your nail color and then you can just like peel off the polish. I think that's what that is. But this again, 24 months. I've never touched it. I've never used it. It needs to go. I'm tossing them in my trash can right now, but I will try to find a responsible way to dispose of them so they don't end up, you know, in a water supply or something. This is a clean color matte top coat. Doesn't even move, so that can go too. <laughs> you guys are helping me declutter in a baby way, but still. This one is another matte top coat from the brand, if I can get this to focus, which it doesn't want to because fuck my life. Um, hmm. Cole? No, what does that say? I can't fucking read that. Um, Rock and Republic. I think that's what that says. Oh, it's an Essie one. Clearly white, or clearly matte. Yeah... It's the only one I'm not tossing, I think, so we'll keep that because it is SE and it's a good brand. Oh, wait, this burial is another one, matte NA. Oh, that's funny. That's all separated, too. Let's see. Shake a shake a shake off camera and see if it looks like, yeah, that seems like it's really, really thin, so I'll have to try it out, but we'll keep that one for now because I don't want to not have any matte top coats. Um, this guy here is a Complete Care 7-in-1 Nail Treatment. That's another thing I could probably use for my pinky. So, yeah, we'll see. This is a great product. I forgot I had this. I haven't used this in ages, but it's Jealous Advanced Nail Gel Coat. I really like this. This is another product I bought from Sally. And all of these things are past their expiration dates. I'm not going to even pretend that they're not. This Mystic Nails is ancient but i really like this product too 
um, yeah, these are way old. And this is just a color club. It's just, just a plain, eh, plain top coat, I guess. Looks really thin, doesn't it? It looks like water. I'm going to chuck that too. And then we have this one here. This is a top coat from Sally Hansen. Weird, it just says top coat on the front. And then it's got the label on the back. But yeah, Sally Hansen. Eh, triple shine top coat. This one also has a date on it. Getting dust. Okay, then this is a really nice product too. I've always always been really happy with the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel items. The regular polishes and the top coat are really good. So yeah, I have no idea. This is probably way old too. Like I said, all of this stuff probably should be tossed, but I'm not going to go that cuckoo crazy because then I'll be like up in the middle of the night like, no, I got to rescue these things even though I don't need to rescue them. Um... This is some Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. This is a product I used to use a lot too. This Burial um, Nail Strengthening Cream. I'm kind of scared to look and see what condition this is in because I haven't touched this in ages either. Let's see. Mm. Well, that's pretty much the consistency it always was. Maybe a little bit grainy feeling, but... I think I'm still going to keep that. It's certainly not going to harm anything. Don't know how much it'll help, but we'll see. All right, I got to get a move on because it's oh, 10 after 10 almost. And my husband probably wants to come in and go to sleep. This is Mane and Tail Hoof Maker Hand and Nail Therapy. have no idea where I got this, but I recall liking it pretty well. So this is my backup of the Instant Cuticle Remover. Like I said, love, love, love this product. This is just my nail polish remover, the old bottle from the Dollar Tree. I think this was from the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, they don't even make these bottles anymore. They're way smaller now. And they're a $1.25 because it's the $1.25 tree now for the most part. But I keep this bottle because it's a little bigger and I just refill it. I have two of these. These are eh, Sally Hansen Color Therapy. I think I showed you one of those. Yeah, this is the Argon Oil. So I have two more backups of that. These were sent to me ages ago from Sally Hansen. This is a Burial No Chip Speed Dry. Oh, and the bottom just came off, but whatever. The wheels are off the bus. There's two of those. And we have this guy. Now we building protein. I think we had another one of those in the top drawer or top compartment. And this is Dury Rejuvicote. I like this um, product a lot too. I did use this the other day, but I'm trying something else because the pinky is just decimated. And then last but not least, we have these couple of items. We have this um, wind mirror, I guess. This has attachments. I haven't ever really played with this but buffer pads and emery boards and cuticle pushers and all kinds of shit like that the batteries are probably rotted inside it but they just attach up here let's just see for shits and giggles does this turn on eh, if i can close it now i guess you have to have it open nope kale surprise the batteries are dead probably rotted let's see no, there's no battery in it. Well, that's good because then the product is still, or the item, whatever, is something I can still use with the battery if I choose to. Now that I remember, I still have it. And then we have this little four-in-one little block. We've got the file, remove your ridges, which I have quite badly, and they get worse um, uh, as I get older. The buffing pad and a polish and shine pad. So this is basically only used, these two really are only used for my, in my personal opinion, if you're just going with a natural nail and not putting any polish on. Because once you buff, the polish doesn't stay on as well. It tends to either peel off or chip off much faster. So that is your overview. And then here is the top part with this compartment here. So this was much longer than I expected. I hope it was at least somewhat interesting to somebody because, you know, 
whatever. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I love you so much. This is my first video of 2022, which I wasn't even thinking about, but whoop, 2022 so far. Day one, it sucks. Just like 2021, but maybe that's just for me. Having a bad day. We won't get into that in this video. Perhaps tomorrow or another day we'll get into it but anywho that's it for now thanks so much for watching you guys i really appreciate it love you so so much have an awesome rest of your day or night and i'll be back soon with more stuff bye guys